Hi, Daniel here, Ibaka Maker, and this is a video that's been in the works for a couple of months, not because it was so difficult, but because it was scheduled to be part of something else. Uh, and circumstances being what they are, the other person involved couldn't be involved directly or immediately, and I need to get this video out. So let's say that this is a introduction to a collaboration. Uh, and then when the person is available, I will let you know who I'm collaborating with. But uh, what I'm making today is something that I saw on King's Fine Woodworking Channel. And it's something that I've wanted to make for a little while. That's why I downloaded his free plans for it. And the links for all of that will be in the description below. And uh, it was a very easy project to make. In fact, I was able to make two items out of the available stock. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. I'm also waiting for wind to pass by. Not my wind, this wind. Uh... <laughs> so this is the preliminary to the collaboration. Let's put it that way. This is going to be the preliminary video to a collaboration between myself and another blacksmith. And uh, this is the model that I'm going to be using for that collaboration rather than this is the finished product. So that's a far better explanation. Enjoy the video. So I have a piece of walnut from that lid, and I'm going to overlay the template on top of that and cut the pieces out of this piece. Because this piece is so thick, I'll be able to get two sets of calipers out of it. I'm thinking I might make some of the pieces out of this. The straight ones, like there's a couple of center pieces that go in, and it might provide a nice contrast to the walnut. And now I've uh, glued these on and taped these together because there are two pieces, so I'll cut two of these out all at once for each shape. Same thing here, except rather than, and I should have done this first, but rather than uh, uh, cutting two pieces that I've already cut, or I'm, I'm just going to cut out the shapes and then cut the things in half to make the, uh, the two pieces. So here I have the two pieces cut. I still have to bring these down to one eighth of an inch, much closer than what they are now. The bent arms are walnut, and these are now, after having done some research, uh, sapili, S-A-P-E-L-E, -E, sapili. It is a substitute for mahogany. You can see that it has a slightly reddish color to it, but when I apply just plain old Danish oil, no color Danish oil, it basically looks the same thing as the walnut, just a slight difference in tone. And I kind of wanted that to stand out a little bit more. So what I might do is um, hit these with a little bit of mahogany stain. Use do the Dutch oil for or Danish oil for this, but hit these with a bit of mahogany stain just to make them stand out a little bit.
And there we have them. The uh, King's Fine Woodworking Golden Ratio Calipers. I'm going to spend a little time with the second set to see if I can't make them a wee mite fancier. So, here we have it. I'm showing you in the sunlight because the shadow is a little bit too deep. I actually had to add red food coloring to the stain here to uh, make the stain actually stand out a little bit. So this was the sapili and this is the uh, walnut and they worked out great. I don't have fancy screws, I just have these, but one thing I discovered is you have to make sure that these are not too tight. They are only finger tight, these lock nuts, because this is the second unit. You'll notice that this is slightly thicker. This is the second unit that I built. The first one snapped right there. So there's a stress right there. These are not meant for industrial use. They are meant for measuring certain aspects of things like Oh, what do you know? This is almost to the, almost to the golden mean on this little pad. Oh, when you look at that, yeah, this little notepad right here, almost reaches the golden mean. And I could try to put lacquer on it or something like that, but that would just make this thing move funky. But because this thing needs to be a bit more robust. I think what I'm going to do is make this out of steel. I have the plans. I have the forge, if I even need it. So much of the, we might need the forge for the curved pieces. But for the straight pieces, I just need some, uh, a bandsaw. And I think that's going to be my challenge. I'm going to make this unit out of steel. Maybe make more than one. And turn this into, or not this one specifically, but turn one of those into my 300 subscriber giveaway. I think that's what I'm going to do. And there you have it, the golden ratio calipers from King's Fine Woodworking. These turned out beautifully. Uh, I think they'd look even better if I felt confident about adding some sort of lacquer or varnish to them, but I don't. So for now, uh, I'm going to be using them for myself, but now I'm going to be making these, as I just said, out of iron from the forge. So I'm going to be using the pattern, I'm going to be drawing out, or me measuring out the full lengths of metal that I need. I happen to have some spare metal right here that's a, a goodly thickness, and I can split down the middle so I can again make two of these. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to uh, help me out a little bit, because this is a time of year when very little is happening for me, uh, there is a PayPal tip jar in the link right down here in the video. I think it's right down here. Uh, it says, uh, buy me some coffee. It, uh, this is not mandatory, but if you would like to, I have it right there. And uh, that way, it, it certainly will help me out because there are things that I need to get to continue on with this channel in a more regular format. And I'm not talking about expensive things, just materials. <laughs> raw materials um, and fuel so um, if you like please go ahead and uh, click on that button I sure would appreciate it <laughs>